Welcome back everyone to the TGI channel. Today I'm going to introduce our new project, Project 92 Ram Charger. We're going to start this project and we're going to turn it into a camper, if you can believe that. So follow along with us as we convert this thing into something that nobody's ever seen before. guys welcome back I'm here to introduce our newest project it is project ramper we're going to take this 1992 Ram Charger two-wheel drive and convert it into the ultimate overland camping machine light on the overland because it's a two-wheel drive so this idea came up while we were camping in our trailer oh during COVID with not many places to go and uh, as fun as that was, dragging a trailer behind us, there wasn't a whole lot of other things we could do but camp. So we sold off the trailer, and I started doing some research and realized there's a whole overland community out there, um, which I had no idea about. And so doing some YouTube work on that, I found out that there's a lot of stuff on the market to convert your daily driver into a camping machine. So I've arrived at a plan um, which is about three or four steps to switch this thing over um, without drilling any holes in this truck, without ruining it in any way, shape, or form, being it's a classic and a rare truck is the fact that it's a two-wheel drive and it's a Ram Charger. So I want to keep all of that intact, yet be able to take this thing out on road trips and see some of the country. Um, the idea is that is that we can also bring our trailer with our motorcycle in it and we can tour along and then find a place to stay for a few days, take our bike out, tour around, have some fun. Um, also take our boat out and go fishing and camping at the same time. So at least there's some stuff to do while we're camping as opposed to just sitting around the fire having a beer all day. So I hope you journey along with us as we watch the conversion of this truck into something more. And... Um, hopefully inspire some of you guys to do some of this yourself. I guess it's time to get at it. So one of the first things we decided to do with this project was where do we sleep? So going through the YouTube videos, I see there's a lot of people that put rooftop tents on their vehicles. Well, I thought that was brilliant. So I go down to our local Overland store and ask them about putting a rooftop tent on this. So he looks it up in his book and he says, yep, you got to put some kind of a roof rack on it. I went, okay, what do you have for roof racks? So he looks up in his computer and says, oh yeah, no, there's lots on the market. I said, well, show me. So he drags me over to one. They're all bolt through the roof. I don't want to drill any holes in this thing. I don't want to ruin this truck. So I explained that to him. I says, is there a different one? He says, oh yes, you can get the ones for gutters. So I asked him, I says, are you familiar with a Ram Charger? And he goes, well, of course. I says, well, there's no gutters. So how does that work? So he came out in the parking lot, had a look, said, yep, sure enough. You're screwed. There isn't anything that you can't put on this truck that doesn't involve drilling the roof out. I didn't want to do that. So, of course, that leads us to having to build our own roof rack. So let's go have a look at that. So here we are, we're back in the shop and we're having a look at the roof rack that we designed and built. Uh, unfortunately, the camera wasn't around the day I was building it, so there's no video of that. But basically what we've done, we went and got inch and a quarter square tube, one eighth wall, and basically custom fitted it so that we have attachment points at the back for the gutter around the back of the hatch of the truck, and then custom built these angular brackets across this square tube that lands uh, on the gutters over the doors. So what this is doing now is housing our 270 degree freestanding awning. We've changed from the concept of putting a rooftop tent on the truck uh, as I decided that when you're camping if you have a couple of wobbly pops I don't think I want to be trying to go up and down the ladder. So the change is now we've got this set up and we've made all the mounting points. Um, we have the 270 awning here and we've test fitted it and it works and we've had it out and deployed and it works as, as advertised. 
Um, so now this is basically done. Uh, we're going to send it off to get powder coated and then we'll uh, do a final installation onto the truck and then we'll add the awning and hopefully the cameras are around when we do that and you can see how that all functions. On to the next bit. So another challenge in this project is here's the back of the ram charger. Now the rear seat's been removed and there's about six feet from the back of the truck to the seats. And there's a hatch. So somehow we've got to get sleeping accommodations, overland kitchen and storage for your clothes and a toilet in this thing. Yes, I said toilet. We're getting older, getting up in the night, you know. So I have designed a different kind of a system that I haven't seen exactly um, to try and solve some of these problems. As we go along, we'll show you some of these ideas as we build them. And um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy what we're doing. It's curious. I want to see how this turns out.